career because all I was doing then before that was touring to state to state and I was going back to state to state but I and I wanted to go to the next level so I said I need a, a, a TV show or a movie and I got Fridays and I was like oh thank you God because I know this is gonna make bring me a bigger audience then I can show another side of me YouTube family what's good this your guy DJ Bless One Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live Look guys, we're watching Chris Tucker today He breaks down filming and what's going on Why he quit Friday series and not getting part of the sequels and all that And he speaks on the other things as well And you'll be shocked to hear his actual response of why he didn't do another Friday I mean, salute to Chris Tucker I need y'all to Pay them bills right quick by just hitting the like button, hitting the notification bell. Let's start the show right away. They're really like, uh, well, I know Cube want to do another one because Cube, of course, it's like, you know, he kind of created Fridays uh, and I was in the first one. Yeah. And Q, after I did the first Fridays back then, I never thought about doing sequels. I always wanted to do a good job and keep moving to the next movie. So Cube asked me back in, I think it was 96 or 97, he's, he's Chris, we want to do a, another Fridays, man. And I was just like, nah, I don't want to do another Fridays. I want to, you know, I want to do like Eddie Murphy and them did. I want to do Money Talks. I did Money Talks and then, then eventually did Rush Hour. I said, I don't want to do another. And he said, what? You sure? I was like, nah, I don't want to do another. <laughs> So he he couldn't believe it, but he kept he moved he kept moving and he got you know he got uh, Mike Epps and they went and did another one and it was great he did two of them and they were great. So now, of course they they was in a cube you know he don't mind if I come back at this that that but studio I think uh, want to do it they didn't want to do it and then cube is it's kind of cube is spearheading that and I never really wanted to do another one. Uh, and, I, and I always said, because I know my fans love the movie so much, they always bring it up. I said, well, if they come, come if they come to me with a great script, great idea, I'll definitely consider it. But I said, it's been so long ago, and that character is so, became such a great character. I don't want to mess it up unless it's really something good and we can really make it That's better, true. you know. Yep, I got it on my shirt. Oh, thank you. I saw that. I appreciate that. That's awesome. <laughs> That's stuff, uh, I heard through the grapevine now, correct me if I'm wrong, that the reason why you wasn't going to do another Friday was because they didn't pay you, man. Now, oh, no, that's not true. That's not true. The first, and I'm going to tell you, the first, the, the, the first Fridays, I was so happy I got that movie because I knew how it was going to help my career because all I was doing then before that was touring to state to state and I was going back to state to state but I and I wanted to go to the next level so I said I need a, a, a TV show or a movie and I got Fridays and I was like oh thank you God because I know this is going to make bring me a bigger audience then I can show another side of me so when I did it uh, I it was, uh, it was incredible but back then I got to tell you one of the reasons why I didn't do the second one because of the weed, because I said, man, that movie became a phenomenon. I don't want everybody. I don't want everybody smoking weed. And I never really told people this because I kind of forgot about it. But it was yeah. one of the reasons why I didn't do it because I said I don't want to represent, you know, everybody smoking weed. I kind of made it more personal than a movie, and that's one of the reasons why I said, nah, I didn't want to keep doing that character. Okay. And it probably was good for me because it kept me moving, you know, to the next phase and next movies. But that was one of the reasons. I, I said, I didn't want to be the, get everybody smoking weed high in the world. So. Now, I don't want to, I just want to ask real no. quick. So like, when you say a great script for Friday, because most of those movies are really like powered by the two leads, you know, yeah. with you and Ice Cube, and then, then he went and got Mike Epps. So like, what does like a great Friday script act like? What is it, like, what, what would be, what would you say would be like the great or the best Friday script or something like that for you? That's a great question because you even made me think about it. It would be a more like a great idea. Like this idea, this is the next level of where these characters will be at and go that it'll make sense uh, to the audience, make sense to everybody, make sense to the story out of all those uh, movies. They had, a, they had one in between. Yeah. They had, they had two. So they had two, yeah. Three movies. Uh, so where will we be and what's going to be going on? It just can't be 
like jokes. It has to be a logical, it, yeah. uh, you know, yeah. I got you. I got Those you. are the movies yeah. that last, you know, if, if you do sequels, because they kind of, they're hard to do, but if you do that, you got to really think it out and then make it make sense. So okay. those are the things. And then once you get those things together, the elements together, then you can come up with a kind of uh, the, the dialogue and all that stuff. Yeah. 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 Okay. Tell me this now. You've worked with people like the, uh, Charlie Sheen when you did Money Talk. Yes. What was that like working with somebody of that caliber? That kind uh, of. Like he was great, man. I was just telling somebody yesterday, and uh, Charlie Sheen and and uh, Paul Savino, great actors, because I did a lot of improvisation in Fridays and Money Talks and all my movies because I I try to put a lot of uh, put a lot of myself real. I, I try to make the character real. Uh, as, as I can uh, do. So as soon as, when I get into that Charlie Sheen, they will come right back with their acting skills, man. And I believe so, so hollow that you got to work with other great actors because when you giving out, they're going to give back and even make you go deeper. Uh, so I, it was so great working with Charlie Sheen because he was such, he's such a great actor. And you see that in Two and a Half Men and all the movies he's done before that, Wall Street and Paul Savino, you know, all his movies from Goodfellas, on those guys, they don't miss a beat because they listen to every word you're saying and they are coming right back at you in that world you're at and they, they, they're they really they really in the character, man. So, yeah, that's a great question. Man. So you but, had prime Charlie hey. Sheen. Like, you had, like, you were, like, superstar Charlie Sheen. Like, yeah. was he was he wilding like, uh, like that? How he yeah. wilds now? Charlie was the nicest guy in the world, man. <laughs> I, I got to tell you right there, he, he had his little moments here and there but he was still a great guy and you've yeah. been around people he was i mean he let me borrow his ferrari man when i was like 21 years old because i was i was bold enough to ask him child let me keep your ferrari for a weekend he said sure sure i'll have my assistant drop it off at your apartment <laughs> i'm staying almost in the hood in koreatown i got a two a hundred some thousand dollars ferrari parked out in front of my apartment because i'm still asleep i didn't put it in the parking structure yet and everybody's like what this is got Charlie Sheen. That's what that's how nice of a guy he is and, and was back then, man. So I I would always, you know, have a lot of love for Charlie because how, how well he treated me and he was and he's still to me just the biggest star, greatest, biggest hearted. He loved it. He loved it. He loved it. He he was like, he just would laugh. He'd be like, crazy, crazy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he said you kick with the wrong foot. You oh, know yeah, how yeah. He's like, you kick because with Mike the wrong would leg. do his with his right. Don't you do yeah. yours with your left? Yeah, yeah. He was like, Chris, you messing up that kick. Right. You got to get that right. Hey, man, where were you at when you heard crazy. Michael pass? I was in Atlanta, man. Mm -hmm. I was in Atlanta, and it, you know, it was like everybody else, man. I was like couldn't believe it and it was it was it was a sad day man but michael left us so much and every yeah, time his man. music comes on man i just get happy and and just it just it, you know he just did so much he was such uh he was so ahead of his time mm -hmm. and he really lived a full life he, even though it wasn't long long but he lived a full life i mean he lived a hundred lives man because yeah, it, yeah. it was incredible thing man and so you got you got to go deep and, and tell stuff you might not want to talk about right but it's actually it, it makes you it, it's healing it's make you feel better like at them, yeah, bro. Man, man yeah. they yeah, they're great, man. They're yeah. great. They uh I just seen one of the posters on Sunset, man. I'm like, yeah, that's 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 me. Netflix, yeah. they didn't lie, they did it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's dope about that, man, is like Netflix isn't the graveyard. Uh, yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like yeah, there's yeah, some yeah. things you'd be like, damn, Chris, oh man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. people know what Netflix yes. is yeah. and, and and what yeah. the ownership and you know what I'm yeah. saying? They rivaling everybody they, right they, now. They, yeah, they on top of their game, man. And they they wanted it. And I was like, let's do it. How long ago did you job. shoot it? I shot it a while ago. I shot yeah. it a while ago, man. And I was like, and even yeah. with the Netflix yeah. momentum has been building and yeah. building and yeah. building. Yeah, yeah they're a great saying? company. Do the line. All the time, man. All the time. And in my house back in the day, people come, teenagers come over my house want to smoke weed. Right. Like, don't <laughs> smoke no weed no more. <laughs> in the movie. Right. Get out of my yard before you get us both in trouble. <laughs> hey man, do, yeah. do you feel like they, we put you in a time capsule though? I, you know what? I'm, I'm not really. I, I mean, I know that it, you know people love the movie. I'm glad they do, but I, you know, I don't think that way, no. Right, right. Man, yeah. I, and I'm wondering what a Friday, what would, what, you know, I'm pretty sure if a script came, something, it'd be, oh, we, 
yeah, move yeah. back to the neighborhood yeah. or something. You, yeah. We have to pull something out of our asses. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? What's the next move for Chris Tucker? You know, I got a movie. I just did a movie with Ang Lee who did Life of Pi. Oh. That's coming out, um, you know, soon. And uh, so that's a, you know, a, a fun movie I just did. And I'm, so I'm just want to do more movies uh, and do more more stand up, you know, keep the, on the road, man, and just keep keep it going. So and good. also, man, just in, in the stand up Chris Tucker live, you touch on just the tax situation also. Oh, yeah. yeah you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And the tax situation, that was more of. You know how you would trust somebody to do their job yeah, while you're yeah. over here doing your job? Was it that yeah. situation? Like, man, my job is to act. Yeah. Your- those, those, those spiritual uh, things, uh, those decisions that, you know, it's good to make, man. It's good to make because uh, it helps you. Right. I mean, I think that you were one of the, I guess, like first people of the generation, at least my generation, to present themselves as the young legend of today. When you got on stage at Def Comedy Jam and said, I'm pissed off, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like from that point, I was talking to Donnell Rollins about that. And from that point forward, we knew you were going to be a star. Right. And I said, I said, oh man, that made me become a man because people, a lot of people, everybody ain't gonna agree with you. I'm bringing a new product to market. We call they called me, I said, all rent dude, this is all rent dude. It's crazy, man. When I first, when I did my first Tonight Show, I was on the TV show one time, and the kid I barely knew from high school called me and said, hey man, can you buy me a truck? <laughs> I said, I only made $518. So you don't get all that money, though. You gotta pay taxes, <laughs> that's half of it. Then you gotta pay a lawyer, because you gotta have a lawyer. <laughs> then I gotta, yeah, you gotta take care of your family, a couple of cousins, Willie, Uncle Leroy. <laughs> And you find you got, need a new you got relatives kidney. you didn't know you met before they come oh, out. Oh man, I got so many new re- relatives. It's just so crazy. <laughs> they come up to me. You know I'm your cousin. Your grandma would know who I am. I'm your cousin. I said, No, you my grandmama cousin. <laughs> she know you. I don't know you. Now, how is this one different from besides having a two in front of it? This oh. one is different from the because you did this one in, in Hong Kong. Right? Yeah, we did. We did. We did it in a couple of places. We did the beginning of it in Hong Kong, right. and then we came back to L.A., Los Angeles. Then we went to Las Vegas. We just put everything like sequels you just you just put all you, if you want to go on vacations you write it in the script you put all your vacation things in the script so. <laughs> we say hey let's go to hong kong how did you finish because i see my fear is that all people in hong kong will think all americans now are like chris tuck oh man hong kong <laughs> i was the only black person in hong kong i was looking for black people i said where are the black people at no black people no no they thought i was kobe bryant man they didn't know who i was really? kobe bryant it's like, Kobe, Kobe, sign my autograph, Kobe. <laughs> we love you. Where is Shaq? <laughs> I was running, man, and I was over there. I got arrested in Hong Kong. You got arrested for what? They thought, they, because they thought I was a spy, because they thought I had got off the spy.